Good evening, I'm Kim Christensen. And I'm Kyle Clark. A family gathered tonight to remember a teenager shot and killed at a home in Lakewood. Nine News reporter Lauren Scafidi is joining us. And Lauren, you spoke with the boy's mom. I did. Francisco Lamke was just 14 years old. Tonight, his close friends and family came together to honor their son, brother, and friend, taken too soon. I am Francisco's mother. It's a title Vanessa Garcia will always hold close, even now that Francisco is gone. As any kid, he just had a lot of life in him. He was very funny, outgoing. He was just 14 years old. She says he was shot in the head while at a friend's house in Lakewood. Everything was calm and chill, um, and that was their intention was to do a music video, and one thing led to another. That was April 13th. Francisco was airlifted to Children's Hospital in Aurora, where he stayed in the pediatric ICU for nearly a week. Doctors said he was brain dead. It's hard. It's hard to sit there and have these questions go through your head. Am I making the right choice? Do I hang on? Francisco's family took him off life support on Friday. His last words to his mom as she dropped him off at boxing the day he was shot still ring in her head. He said, Mom, I love you. I said, I love you too, son. My family's just trying to pull out what they can in a positive way, and it's just extremely hard, extremely hard, and what lesson is meant for us. The weight of such an unexpected loss is hard to put into words. I just miss him and a pain she knows she's not alone in. It's been hard. It's been hard to know that I lost my boy to gun violence. I I'm not the only mother that's out here. I'm not the only mother that was in the hospital with their child fighting for their life. Um, it happens in so many ways that it's, it's unbelievable. At the time of this shooting, Lakewood police told us that they believe this was an isolated incident and there is no threat to the public. They haven't shared any suspect information. We asked Lakewood police for an update in this case and they have not responded to our questions. Live in the studio, Lawrence Cafiti, 9 News.